<laughs> came through the line first, he'd be pretty happy with himself. So, um, yeah, let's watch him make a move in the swim early. So, away in the under-17 male Ironman, the Jack Reddy Trophy on the line here today. And out in front early on is the young man. He is a great swimmer from the Evan Prinslow from the Fremantle Surf Life Saving Club. He can swim. He swims like no one else in this field at the moment. So Evan Prinslow out in front. In the middle there, you'll have you and you and um, Scrivens. Scrivens. It is you and Scrivens from the Sorrento Surf Life Saving Club. Text. Like text cross. So the ones we talked about early, except for Evan. Evan will be a smoky in this. He will run it hard all the way to the end. And one of the big names we spoke about earlier, Jules Fredner. You can see him top of the screen, just tucking you behind Tex Cross. So Jules, I reckon probably the best board paddler, or the best board paddler in this race, but he can't afford to get squeezed out by some of these big swimmers. And, and you know, Jack, I'll talk to you about it. If you're uh, someone racing in this and all of a sudden you've got uh, Evan Prinsloo setting a, a pace that you're not used to, does it throw you off your, off your own race or do you need to try and just concentrate and calm down and, and play your own game plan? Absolutely. It's a bit like an elastic band. You've really got to not allow that band to stretch too far. Otherwise, it will snap and you'll lose a little bit of that um, wash that you can see coming off their legs. So um, for Jules Fredenay, he'd be looking to not necessarily panic, but swim as hard as he can, knowing that he's got that really strong back end. Yeah, I'm really surprised at the moment, just seeing the white cap with the black and red stripe down at the City of Perth Club, probably fifth or sixth at the moment. I don't think that's ideally where he'd like to be. Tex Cross is going to open up, and so, yeah, as you can see, really, really, he cut across there, so that's kind of helped him out. So he's moved up into fifth spot at the moment, Jules Fredno, the Frenchman from the City of Perth Surf Life Saving Club, but out in front, the young gun, Tex Cross, had an amazing pool season. He's enjoying his surf life saving, and he is well out in front now. He's probably opened a five or six body length lead, and this could be the one. This could be the moment where he takes it out, to be honest. I, don't, I can't see him being caught from here. Yeah, well, as we've, so we've spoken about the, the strength of Jules Fredno on the board, he won the gold medal in the open male board relay yesterday. Only 17 to win in open male board relay. He can paddle. We saw that he won the board uh, over at the interstates, but Tex Cross probably put two or three body lengths on. I think it might be Ewan Scribbins yeah. there from Sorrento hanging on in second place. Ebden Prinsloo. Uh, in, they're in third, and then Northcott again in fourth. Jules Fredney from the City of Perth in fifth. So great racing from these youngsters. All still very tight. Brady Lee as well. Don't forget, he's in there as well. So it's, it's... And we've got Christian Seidel, Sammy Hicks. They're, they're a couple of the qu quick young guns. And Flint Kabinski from um, the Cottesloe Surf Life Saving Club. But this will be very difficult. I know who you're going to be presenting this uh, Jack Reddy trophy to at the moment. And it is, it's going to have a cross and a T in it and an X. So that'll be the winner. I'm sure now he has opened up and monstered this field. Hayden's gone early. Jack, has he called it too early? Is that an unassailable lead or you think these guys can still pin him back? I don't think it's an unassailable lead at this stage in the race. It just really depends what these guys can do in the last 50 metres of this swim. You can really see that pool swimming stroke coming through here. He's not looking up too much. He's just breathing nice and calmly. He looks very relaxed and very strong. But we've still got a board paddle and two runs to go. So let's see if he can run as well as swim. So not, in this environment, you don't often see the rest of the field quite vulnerable as they are now. And they are vulnerable because if he gets a little squirt here, a little bit of a wave, the chandelier of fear will drop on his head. He'll be out there. He'll be gone. And that'll be it because he can transition so fast. There's a little bit of a lift that's going to come for him. I don't know if it's going to give him 10 minutes. He's already up on his feet and running. If he needs to take it, he can. It'll just push that little bit of more bonus, another yard or so that he'll take. So Tex Cross is the first up onto his feet. Now, the, let's wait and see what comes now. We've got Cottesloe, we've got Sorrento, and I think it might have been Evan Prinsloo there in that two, three, and four. They're all lined up next to each other. So Tex Cross, this is his to lose, but he needs to make sure he gets away clean. Yeah, Here comes the there. chase pack. Scribbins. Oh, he's had a massive transition, has Jules Fredenay. He will need to have the paddle of a lifetime. He'll just pop over this, and there he goes. Caden Supreme, look at that. Yeah, so a great transition. Spaghetti so, arms. So Jules Fredenay now is in second place. He's gone from fifth to second on that transition. He's a great competitor, a hungry competitor, and I think he's already closing the gap on Tex Cross. So at the moment we have Tex Cross, he's in the North Cot, so on our screen, that's second place in the middle of our screen from the City of Perth Surf Life Saving Club, Jules Fredenay. To the left of him, you can't see him at the moment, Evan Prinsler, he's having an amazing iron, he's third, he's in that bronze medal position, fourth place is Ewan Scrivens from Sorrento. A lot of these guys might have cooked themselves yesterday and that could be the problem. I'm going to call it, I think Jules Fredenay is rating higher than Tex Cross, I think Jules Fredenay 
might have enough in the tank to catch him. Now, Jack, in this situation, would you rather be leading or chasing? What, what gives you the better motivation, do you think? Absolutely. I'd much rather be in the front. It's easier to race from the front, especially when you turn that second to last board can and you can start to run those little runners you can see them on the screen now they're just running ever so slightly from the um south and you can just start to push down those but as we say that jules is really closing that gap coming around that last red and yellow so jules fenaday in second place tex cross from north cottesloe in first tex cross blitz the field in the swim but Jules Ferdinay, with the best board paddler in the field, he is now chasing Tex Cross. At the moment, Cross is just starting to hang on. There's that live vision, Tex Cross, the head down. He knows that gold medal, that Jack Reddy trophy. That's the one that he's been aiming for since he was a young little nipper. Jules Ferdinay as well, still chasing, slowly closing the gap. Will it be the distance? Will he have enough time to actually close the gap all the way? Oh, Hayden, great racing. How's this split screen? I love the double action here. We've got the Sun Smart drone showing how close or how far behind they are, they are from each other. But this won't be the moment where Jules catches because Tex Cross, unless a wave comes and Jules gets to go from where he is right now to side by side, but a wave builds now and Tex Cross just going to pull down the front of it. Oh, he oh, lifts, Fred he lifts coming, Fred no, Fred no still coming. There's a wave behind Fred and A, but I think Tex Cross is going to be safe. Tex Cross is going to get on that sand and take out the under-17 male Ironman and Jack, a worthy winner. Absolutely. Look at him. He doesn't look too cross now, does he? So... The future Tex of our Cross. sport. He is the future of our sport. Tex Cross taking out the under-17 male Ironman and the Jack Reddy Trophy. Jack, thank you. We'll let you go in and present that to, to Tex. And a great race by Jules Fredenay. He went from sixth in that swim. But the race is on for bronze between Prinslow and Scrivens. Prinslow and Scrivens. I think Prinslow might just take it. He does hold on, Prinslow. What a great race that was by you and Scrivens fourth. Um, but we have a, we've, we've got a guest in our commentary in our midst at the moment. Uh, it's the president royalty. of the royalty. royalty, royalty, royalty. Yeah, absolutely. He's just been dropped in the uh, royal van. Uh, we've been joined in commentary by Surf Life Saving WA President Craig Smith Gander. Craig, welcome to the commentary, and, and what a day of racing we have. Yeah, thanks, Hayden. It's really good to be here. I've been here since the actually started the Lifesaver Relay, which was uh, a ton of fun and just a fantastic race. And it's uh, it's good to see how tactics play out. City of Perth's tactics wound up being better than North Cots. You know, they they hit the beach in the first place, but having a male runner rather than a female runner was the difference. And that's why that's such a beautiful beautiful event. It's your tactics always come into play, and it's how you set your team up that works out who's going to win. And you must be proud of your team and what the activation you've created here, not only through the team in the operations team and the marketing team, but also all the officials and all the volunteers that make this event so successful. Yeah, I was talking to one of our officials just before. Um, she's from Darden up down in, the, down in the country. And she was telling me this is week seven in a row after you include all the, the Nipper qualifiers and all those other events. And uh, bless her, she went down to um, Willie Abrup last night for a wedding and turned around at two o'clock this morning and drove straight back. And she's still standing, so good on her. And look, that's just an indication of the sort of officials and the management team that we've got here, that they work incredibly hard to deliver these events for the athletes. And if I just interrupt, Craig, we've got Cam down there with the winner, Tex Cross of that under-17 Ironman. And final. Certainly do. Tex, congratulations, mate. Well done. Thank you. Led from the start, finished on the go, mate. Very fit. I said to you off here, you could probably go again, you're that fit. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. That hurt a lot. Um, been working on my swim a lot, which really paid off on that first leg. I got myself a lead, but Jules is always a great paddler, so I had to really watch out for him on that um, board leg at the end, but got there in the end, which is great. Just saw there's a little bubble of a wave behind. I know you had to yeah. look, look behind your shoulder. I think you could hear the guys yeah, on the commentary too. Yeah, I could hear that he had a little bump um, behind me, um, which got me a bit nervous, but just got off the board and got out the beach quick. Well done, Tex. How does that sound, mate? Gold medalist? Oh, it's awesome. Um, any gold medal you get at a state was amazing. Um, to um, try and get those medals, so to come out on top is great. And also added bonus too is the, you know, the Jack Treddy yeah. You know, trophy that adds a bit of nostalgia as well. Yeah, it is. I won my best mate, Johan, won it last year. Um, so it's good to keep it at the club. Um, and yeah, it's great nostalgia for the club. Well done, mate. Congratulations once again.